Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com here with you with a very quick two minute video tutorial. And what I wanna show you today is a pretty cool effect that I like to call a misty mosaic effect. It's pretty neat, it looks pretty cool. Um, and it's really, really easy to do. So the first thing you wanna do is go and find yourself kind of a dust particle kind of brush, maybe something like these space particles. Oh, this looks like this is a texture or a background, but brusheasy.com has all kinds of great stuff that you could probably use. Once you have something like that, jump over to Photoshop. We're gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna name this Misty or something like that. Then I'm gonna grab my brush tool and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna hit my little cog wheel to load my flyout menu and choose replace brushes. And I'm gonna load these dust particles brushes. And I'm just gonna grab kind of any of the brushes really. I'm just gonna go with this one here. I need to downsize a little bit because they're quite large. So I'm gonna make it more like this. All right, it's about 800. So I'm going to click one, two, three, four, five times to throw some dust particles in there. And actually, maybe I'll even edit this a little bit, go shape dynamics and change the size and the angle jitter a little bit and just click around a couple times. Just kind of add this nice dustiness uh, to the photo, just like so. Really any dust or mist particles uh, should work here as long as you have something that's actually showing up. Once you've done that, it's easy. Filter, uh, filter, pixelate, mosaic. And at this point, you're going to choose a cell size. 80 square is probably a little bit too large. I'm going to go back to something like 50, uh, maybe even a little bit smaller than that, maybe 30. Yeah, 30 looks pretty cool. Actually, I'm going to even make it a little smaller. 25 looks really, really neat. Hit OK. And then you would just duplicate this effect a couple times. So we would hit Command or Control J, one, two, maybe three times, and just merge all of these together. So select the top layer, hold down your Shift key, select the bottom layer, hit Command or Control E to merge them together. And at this point, you could do something like set that to a blend mode of overlay or maybe soft light and duplicate that layer and set that one to overlay or maybe even change the color of the bottom soft light layer by hitting Command or Control U, colorize, darken this up a little bit, maybe make it sort of an orange, give it a ton of saturation. Uh, we'll darken or maybe, yeah, darken it a little bit more, something like so. That looks pretty cool. And then top layer goes on, soft light or even overlay. Something like that looks really, really cool. And it's just a really neat, easy to achieve effect. And I'm calling it a misty mosaic effect. So that is it, Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. And that's the way it is. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Make sure you share it with your friends. And of course, subscribe to the Tutvid YouTube channel. And also go ahead and hit that little like button for the video. That always helps out. And there's also an Instagram channel or feed or whatever full of cool little tutorials, tips and tricks, things like that that you can check out. It's instagram.com slash Tutvid. Make sure you go over there and follow it. And also, tutvid.com, you can sign up for the free newsletter and get all kinds of exclusive content and goodies through that each and every month. Thanks for watching, guys.